going on, y'all? What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Big Bear the Bear, Big Bear the Bear, Big Bear, bro. Straight up reviews, whatever you want to call me. Fat Boy Gamer, keep it a smooth. Wiggle, 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 dig up in your nose. Yeah. So anyways, y'all, let me catch my breath because I'm having a good day. Well, welcome back to my Big Bears Bros Nintendo Gaming Collection. What you guys all been waiting for, asking for because I didn't want to do this video because it's just so exhausting. But I'm doing it for you guys because I do this right here. Blood, sweat, and tears. But anyways, y'all, let's go with this game right here called, right here, Hong Kong's Massacre. Real raw and uncut. Now, if you guys love games that go around and shooting and bang, bang, bang like Max Payne, real raw and uncut, where you guys can actually just hold the button and move in slow motion and be like, pa, 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 This is the game for you. A little bit on the generic side, but... It's a pretty, pretty, you know, okay game. It's not the best. I mean, the story is kind of like really, really bland. It's like, I don't know where this game came from. I ordered it off uh, eBay. And as you guys can see, uh, he's got the Japanese, um, Chinese, whatever, you know, um, it was made from. Real on Uncut. It's not over here in America. So, but it is, you know, region free compatible. Oh, yeah, I got it from uh, Amazon UK right there. But like I said... This is uh, Hong Kong's Massacre, we're on uncut, and um, it's just, you know, just like you know, Max Payne, you know, we're winding back, moving in slow motion. I don't think it has rewind back, but it has slow motion going on, we're on uncut in this game right there. Then we have right here, we got this game called Octopus Trip, real raw and uncut. Now, I had first played my first Octopus Trip game on the PlayStation 4, I believe, yeah, PlayStation 4. And I remember I just picked it up and I, I was uh, playing, you know, a session of the game because it had like some music vibes going that you had to like tune in to do some powers and stuff like that. So one day, you know, I logged on uh, Amazon and I seen this game and I didn't pay attention to the title. I was like, what the heck is this? I, could I mean, what is it? So I was playing. And I was like, you know what? This game reminds me of something that I played before. And I went back and just did some research and I said, yo, this is Octopus Trip. And I said, oh my gosh, this is like a generic version of Persona, and I really, really like this game, you know what I'm saying? The game I played on the uh, PS4 as well, so I played this, and this is pretty, pretty cool. Even though the dialogue and, you know what I'm saying, and the gameplay is very, very pacing, you know, pacingly slow up in there. Then we got that wonderful world of wonder, 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 one by Platinum Games, you guys already know. That's what I, you know, like about Platinum Games. I mean, they're, they're back and forth because their last, like, game release was called Babylon's whatever on fall on PlayStation and Xbox. And they really didn't do that good. And when they, you know, release premium titles that are big, big in a budget, their games seem to be, like, busting out the frame. It, it, you know, they sell big like Bayonetta, but... Um, you know, um, this got to you know, re-release as you guys already know because we first, you know, played this game on the Nintendo Wii U, you know, playing with that big old pad and everything, trying to squiggle it around and, you know, that thing had me all confused and a lot of people was happy that we got a remake of this. So anyways, y'all, this is, um, you know, pretty much in my backlog because it's not even open and I got it when it first, you know, released, but I wasn't even, I wasn't even too much in a rush to play that shit right there. Real raw and uncut. Then we got that back. Uh, Black Future 88. Now, this is a roguelike game. Really, really, you know, siphonic, sci-fi, back-in-the-day tone, a ne a neon lights, and, you know, um, 80s type of vibe shooter here and there. Remind you of some old flashback type of, you know, game that you can actually get down with. And this game is very, very nice. I mean, it's cool, but it has, like, a very cool little vibe to it and gameplay to it because you can get so far in the game and get powered up in all kinds of different weapons. But if you die, it makes you start all over. It makes you mad, but it keeps you going. Real raw and uncut out there. Then we got that Paper Mario Origami right there. Real raw and uncut, the Origami King. Um, I don't know how many Paper Mario games they, you know, keep on releasing, but this is the last one. And, you know, we got a lot of Paper Mario games back from the, you know, releases of what, you know, what Nintendo puts out. Real raw and uncut. We got that Mario Luigi. We have even got a Paper Mario or a Mario Luigi game in a long time on Nintendo Switch, but I feel my pump, I feel my chest rising because I think there's going to be a, let me see, go in my gamer brain, they're going to announce one next year, and come back and tell me, you was right, Fat Boy Gamer, aka Big Bear Bro, aka used to be straight up reviews, real raw and uncut, baby, real raw and uncut, so yeah, so let's go with this right here, one of my favorites in the series, Shin Gagi Part 5, even though I didn't even like Part 4 on that 3DS, that game got on my goddamn nerves. I got rid of that. I got rid of it. 
But you know what? I may try it again and have it in my collection. But they be selling them, uh, them old games for too damn much. And I was just dumb as fuck for selling it. Why? But anyways, y'all, this game is very unique. Um, let me see. I got the steel bookcase right there. <laughs> you don't have it. You missed out. You don't have it in your collection, baby. Getting ready to get that Persona 5 on Nintendo Switch Friday. And also for the PlayStation 5 as well. Even though I, I got it for the PlayStation 4. I got the Royal Edition. I got the Regular Edition. And I got it for PS3, motherfucker. Oh, so, yeah. So, uh, love this game. Love everything about it. Love the story. Love the gameplay. Love it's, it's just nice. I just love the scoring as well as, well as this music. I just don't understand why every time, you know, Shimagagi and Atlas make a game, they always recycle their old enemies into a new one like it's brand new. I can't, I'm tired of seeing the same boogly monster. They got the little bells on his head. I'm tired of it. Change it up sometimes. So let's see what we got going away. We got Streets of Rage 4. And I'm pretty, pretty sure you guys are wondering why the cover looks so different. Because this right here is basically a limited runs games edition when I first got it real raw and uncut. Now everybody was raved up. That Streets of Rage 4 is coming out, and I guaranteed you within a couple more years, we're going to get Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And uh, yes, this is a pretty, pretty cool game, and I'm actually going to order the other version with the DLC because I want it, and I just didn't really love this cover. I hate this cover, but I kept it in my collection. So anyways, y'all, um, you know, these guys also re you know, released Ninja Turtles, Real Raw and Uncut, getting ready to come out on the American side. I already have it. Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Go play it. And hopefully they'll bring us more games, which is Final Fight. You never, never know, y'all. You never, never know. Then we got the Undernots right there, Labyrinth um, of Umi right here. Umi. Now, this game right here is pretty, pretty. It's okay if you guys love RPG games, you know, where you can just actually just, you know, just see the whole dungeon and you walk through the dungeon, just turn it left and right like a robot and you run into a monster in your face with three monsters going across your screen and you just attack and you just hear a little pow. You know, it, it actually plays like an old school Final Fantasy game, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Um, I really didn't play it that much, but I'm gonna get back into it though. So it's okay, it's okay, gamers, it's okay. We, you know, we. This is what happens to us when we try different type of games. But I play all games, real raw and uncut. But Xbox, you need to get some weak ass, you know. Uh, um, um, you, well, you need to get some better games on your weak ass console. But yeah, we ain't talking about that, pal. But at least Nintendo's doing better than y'all. So, anyways, y'all, we got that Saints Road reelected now. Um, a lot of people really didn't like this one. I don't know if people liked this one or it was uh, uh um. Part three. It was one of them, but I think it was this one because this one had a bunch of aliens. We were on that cut, but this one do make that new one look straight, straight, straight boo boo. And that new one, I mean, this that, that new one makes this one looks good because that new one is straight doo doo. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I played it. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it, and I'm just not going to play it again. I uh, and you know these guys, those guys had a you know. They had a time to come back, but they didn't. I don't know who made it, but they need to just go back to the drawing board, real raw and uncut, and just do everything they need to do to keep this alive. But every time they come out with a uh, uh, dang on uh, Saints Row game, they always, you know what I'm saying? Then we got the OG of all time. We got that Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah. This is the OG that done it all the time that we grew up to. Real raw and uncut, starting from the Wii. And also going to the Wii U, I believe, as a... Limited edition, re, you know, remastered edition. Then it followed over. Then it followed over. Then it followed over to the 3DS. Real raw and uncut. And now we got it right here. This is the OG of all time. And I love this one. I love Xenoblade 3. Oh my gosh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Let me get it right. But Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it was all right. It was okay. It was just too Walt Disney for me, but. I got through it and beat it and completed it anyways. Then we got Streets of Red right there. This was another Limited Run Games when Limited Run Games was coming from the ground up. And now Limited Run Games is smashing it straight, straight through. Real raw and uncut. This game was pretty, pretty cool. If you love like old school little beat em up retro style games in a style of, you know, um, wacky little um, dark car cartoony splatting bloods around little zombies here and there. So yeah, really, really cool game to have in your collection. I'm telling you guys, my Switch collection is big as a mother mother out there. Oh, and by the way, make sure you guys go get you one of these Nintendo Switch controllers right there. This Rock Candy by PDP. This is the Lemon Bomb Super Mario Bowser controller. Look at that right there. It's looking very, very nice, don't it? I love that orange, you know what I'm saying, transparent color mixed in with that holiday color, which is green, baby. Yeah, 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 y'all. Then we got, um, in 
not Forex, in Far Next, right there. Little Castlevania old school retro type of game that I got from Limited Run Games, Real Raw and Uncut. And I also got Axum Verge 2 right there from Limited Run Games, right here, Real Raw and Uncut. And you cannot find these games in retail. You can probably find them on eBay, which is probably going to cost you a lot of money. But hey, it's a good thing that you guys love to have these type of games in your collection, Real Raw and Uncut. Now, I haven't played these. Like I said, they're in the package. I'm going to come back later on and do my unboxing because you guys already know people can't do unboxing. Boxes like the Big Bear Bro, aka Trader Reviews, aka Big Bear the Bear, aka Fat Boy Gamer. I got so many yellies that you guys can't keep up. Even the FBI and the Popo won't be able to keep up with my fat ass out there. No, 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 no. So here we go right there. Real Raw Nut Cut. Make sure you guys go pick up that. Then we have Cotton Fantasy right there. Real Raw Nut Cut. Pick this game up for about uh, $9.99 on Amazon when it went on sale. I was just very much curious because I love in end games. They release a lot of games, but this is like a, you know, a little little um, couple of fairies and uh, little um, witches on a broomstick going up and down. Reminds you of a retro type of gameplay, like, you know, sort of like a updated, you know, Galaga type of game, but in a, you know, different form like this that you just go around. I can't wait to try it out, y'all. I'm so hyped. I'm so pumped. I'm off work tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Yeah. So anyways, y'all, we got 2.2 Hospital. We already know the old school back in the days when we used to play the original version on PlayStation 1. Real raw and uncut. I do have it in there in my closet with the scratch the disc. All you got to do is rub it and make that disc work, baby. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I was happy when they uh, released this game right there. Pretty, pretty cool. If you guys love simulations, if you guys want to be a doctor, get this game. Real raw and uncut. They also released 2.2 Hospital. I mean, Campus. That is a really, really cool game with some wacky stuff going on. Real raw and uncut. Guess what? Y'all got a sex room in there so come on over there and see me with my booty cheeks wiggling real raw and uncut so anyways y'all let's go we got this uh right here the right here as you guys already know right there bikini bottom right there real raw and uncut spongebob now this game was pretty pretty cool but it got on my nerves because i kept just being maneuver kept getting stuck and i said you know what I'm tired of this game. They make these games always the same, but yeah, so anyways, make sure you guys go get this. They're getting ready to come out with a new, new, new SpongeBob game. They all just the same. So yeah, then we got the last game to show you guys right here. This Gaia 6, baby. Now, this is the title where they went to a different direction with the 3D models of playing this Gaia 6 gameplays for the very, very first time. It was, you know, taking too long for people to get accustomed to it. People didn't like it because they liked the old school disc game. Why don't people like change? Why do you like to have the same stuff all the damn time when companies re-release stuff? You know what I'm saying? I mean, when they put out stuff, when they you know, go and implement new changes and say, hey, we need to change it up. People are getting bored. You know what I'm saying? But when they do it and make it better, people just always complain about some bad shit out there. But I like this game, though. Even though this game, game can be, you know, um, tiring, exhausting, and but it takes a mind to play this game real raw and uncut. But, um, to tell you guys the truth, this Gaia is a form of game, of, you know, in its style, but I wish they just, you know, just change it up, like, um, you know, make a this Gaia game in a different form instead of, you know, um, the game where you hop on blocks and everything, make it like, um, you know, make a this Gaia game like Final Fantasy, you know, so where we can run around in the open world and, you know, say, fight big monsters, you know, change it up, real raw and cut, but yeah, if you guys want to see some more, 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 you guys know what to do. Support a boy by sharing, like, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll bring it back to you guys. Love you guys out there. Y'all have a good, magnificent day.